Love Lidorama but hate sequencing? You're not alone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how Madrix can control your string lights and turn them on and off to the beat of music without ever going into Lidorama's sequencing software. You may be surprised to know that Madrix can directly control your LOR boxes with an inexpensive RJ45 to XLR cable available from Lidorama and an inexpensive Antec USB DMX controller. The total cost of these parts is around $70. Begin by connecting the XLR cable into the Antec DMX output and the other end into your Lidorama controller. Once connected, plug the USB cable into your computer and start Madrix. Upon entering the program, we need to do two quick configurations. The first thing we need to do is set up the matrix grid. We do this by going to Preferences and then selecting Matrix Generator. Under Fixtures, we need to select Generic One Channel Light and then set the X count to 8 and the Y count to 2. Keep everything else the same and click OK. Your matrix grid now shows 16 blocks. Each block represents one LOR channel. The blocks and circuits move from left to right and top to bottom. This tutorial only uses a single LOR controller. You can easily add more simply by increasing the Y value by 2 for each additional controller. Now that we have our matrix, we need to set up the audio source. Begin by going to Preferences and then selecting Device Manager. Notice your Antec DMX device is automatically set for you. To set the audio, click on the Audio tab, then select the audio device Madrix will be getting its audio from. Once selected, click OK. We are now ready to add beat recognition. Under the effects list, select Music to Lights, Interval Drops. Next, I'm going to set the BPM to 700. That's it. You're now ready to start playing music and control your lights. Since Madrix is now listening to your computer's sound card, you can use any audio playback program for your show's audio. For this tutorial, I'm going to use iTunes. In iTunes, create yourself a loopable playlist and then click play. And just like that, Madrix starts controlling your lights. Each one of these blocks represents an LOR circuit that's being turned on or off. A white block is on, a black block is off. If you have gray, that's an intensity control. And if you notice, each one of these blocks are going in time with the music that we're currently playing. As you can see, having Madrix control your LOR controllers couldn't be any easier. Everything is going to the beat of the music, and it took us less than two minutes to set it all up. This setup is great if you're just running lights. But let's change it up a little bit. Let's say you're using eight channels for your string lights, and the other eight channels of your LOR controller for various decorations, and you want two different beat patterns. You would think this would be difficult, but in actuality, it's very simple in Madrix. To do this, what we're going to have to do first is we got to go back to our matrix generator and then make some quick adjustments. So once again, we go up to Preferences, select Matrix Generator. I'm going to change the orientation to Vertical and then click on Snake Mode. What this does is changes how Madrix will control your Lidorama controller. The order of your circuits is now changed. Your first set of 8 plugs will be the first group and plugs 9 through 16 will be the second group. To make it easier to lay out, I'm going to temporarily change the music to light interval drops to color and then change it to white to make it easier to see. Using the sliders, I'm going to adjust the white area to only be over the first 8 blocks and then click close. To create the second group, we need to create a second layer. Begin by clicking the Layer button and then selecting New. 
Once again, we are going to set the color to white and then click on the map button. And just like last time, we're going to use the sliders to make the necessary adjustments and then click close. Now that we have two color layers, we are going to change them back to interval drops. To do this, I'm going to click on the first color tab, then select Music to Color Interval Drops. Now I'm going to select the second color tab and repeat this process, but this time I'm going to choose a different effect called EQ Drops. To see it in action, I'll once again click the play button in iTunes, and now we have two independent B patterns going to the music. Another option is to have your Laterama controller take on the characteristics of an RGB device. For example, Circuit 1 will assume that it is a red channel. Circuit 2 will become green, and Circuit 3 will become blue. Then this pattern will repeat through all 16 circuits. Then, when a color appears in a block, Madrix will convert that to an RGB value and turn on the correct circuits and intensities for you. To set up this scenario, I'll once again need to go back to Preferences, Matrix Generator. The first step is to change the fixture to RGB Light 1 Pixel. Next, change the X count to 6 and Y to 1, and then uncheck Snake Mode and click OK. We only need 6 blocks because each block now represents red, green, and blue. Since we only need one effect, I'm going to delete one of the tabs by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. And then change the effect to Music to Light Color Rings. For the best effect, we need to change the color table to just RGB. To do this, I'm going to load a profile by clicking on the Music to Light Color button, then clicking the folder, and finally, selecting the RGB WK palette file. Once selected, click Close. The last step is to reset the display area by clicking on the Map button again, and then click Reset, and once it's been reset, click Close. We are ready to click Play again. Now all the strands are working as RGB units. As you can see, Madrix is capable of creating some very cool beat recognition effects. And if you're one of those people who do not enjoy sequencing, then Madrix directly controlling your LOR controllers is a perfect solution for you. Even if you are someone who enjoys sequencing, Madrix can help create amazing effects, allowing you to become even more creative. In our next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to integrate these effects into LOR sequences. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact our sales department.